Hello dear children, hope you all must be safe and fine and very eager to study today's lesson. Today we shall study lesson 5 of science, coal and petroleum for class 8. Before we begin with our lesson, let us recall a few important points related to this chapter that you might have studied in your previous classes. Children, you already know the following points. What are the different modes used for transportation? What fuels are used for running these different modes of transportation? Then, you must be having some knowledge about what are the sources used for energy. Today, we shall study about these sources of energy only, but in detail. Children, let us see that what new we are going to learn in our today's lesson. First of all, we will study about inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources. Then, we will learn how coal and petroleum are formed. Next, we shall study about natural gas and towards the end of the lesson, we will discuss that some natural resources are limited. Children, do you know that what are inexhaustible natural resources? These are the resources which are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities. Examples are sunlight, air, etc. Now, tell me, do you have any idea that what exhaustible natural resources are? They are the resources which can be exhausted by human activities. The amount of these resources in nature is limited. Examples are forest, coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Children, now I have a very interesting story of coal to share with you. In other words, I will tell you that how coal is formed. I am sure that you all must have seen coal. If not, you must have heard about it. It is as hard as a stone and is black in color. Coal is one of the fuels used to cook food. Earlier, it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run the engine. It is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Coal is also used as a fuel in various industries. Children, let us now try to find out that from where do we get coal and how is it formed. About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forests in low-lying wetland areas. Due to natural processes like flooding, these forests got buried under the soil. As more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. Under high pressure and high temperature, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since it was formed from the remains of vegetation, coal is also called a fossil fuel. When heated in air, Coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas. Children, let us now have a look 
at the useful products that we get by the processing of coal in industry. These useful products are coke, coal tar and coal gas. Let us study about coke in detail. It is a tough, porous and a black substance. It is an almost pure form of carbon. Coke is also used in the manufacturing of steel and in the extraction of many metals. The second useful product obtained by the processing of coal is coal tar. It is a black thick liquid with an unpleasant smell. It is a mixture of about 200 substances. Products obtained from coal tar are used as a starting material for manufacturing various substances used in everyday life and in industries like synthetic dyes, drugs, explosives, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, roofing materials, etc. Interestingly, naphthalene walls used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar. Another useful product obtained during the processing of coal is coal gas. Coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke. It is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants. Children, after learning about how coal is formed, let us now study how petroleum is obtained. Petrol is used as a fuel in light automobiles such as motor, cycles, scooters and cars. Heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors run on diesel. Petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural source called petroleum. The word petroleum is derived from Greek word petra meaning rock and the Latin word oleum meaning oil as it is extracted from the underground reservoirs found beneath the land or the ocean. Children, do you know that how petroleum is formed? Petroleum was formed from the organisms living in the sea. As these organisms died, the, their bodies settled at the bottom of the sea and got covered with layers of sand and clay. Over millions of years, absence of air, high temperature and high pressure transformed the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas. Let us now see that how refining of petroleum is done. Petroleum is a dark oily liquid. It has an unpleasant odor. It is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc. The process of separating the various constituents or fractions of petroleum is known as refining and this process of refining is carried out in a petroleum refinery. Now we will study about natural gas. Natural gas is a very important fossil fuel because it is easy to transport through pipes. Natural gas is stored under high pressure as CNG 
compressed natural gas. CNG is used for power generation. It is now being used as a fuel for transport vehicles because it is less polluting. It is a cleaner fuel. Another great advantage of CNG is that it can be supplied through pipes. Such a network of pipelines exists in Vadodara, Gujarat, some parts of Delhi and other places. Natural gas is also used as a starting material for the manufacture of a number of chemicals and fertilizers. India has vast reserves of natural gas. In our country, natural gas has been found in Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and in the Krishna Godavari Delta. Children, let us now study about the various constituents of petroleum and their uses. The first constituent is liquefied petroleum gas or LPG. It is used as a fuel for home and industry. The second is petrol. It is used as a motor fuel and as a solvent for dry cleaning. The next is kerosene. It is used as a fuel for stoves, lamps and for jet aircrafts. The next is diesel. It is used as a fuel for heavy motor vehicles and in electric generators. The next constituent is lubricating oil and it is used for lubrication. Paraffin wax, it is used in the preparation of ointments, candles, vaseline, etc. And lastly, we have bitumen. It is used in the making of paints and for road surfacing. Now, towards the end of the chapter, we will discuss a very important topic of this chapter. Some natural resources like fossil fuels, forests, minerals, etc. are exhaustible natural resources. That means they are limited in nature and may finish if not used judiciously. So, it is very important to understand that such resources should be used only if absolutely necessary. This will result in better environment, smaller risk of global warming and their availability for a longer period of time. Children, let us now quickly revise whatever we have learned in this chapter. Today, we have learned that natural resources are of two types, inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources. Coal burns on heating in air to release carbon dioxide gas. Then we learned coal, coal tar and coal gas are the products of coal. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels. And in the end of the lesson, we learned that natural gas is stored under high pressure as CNG, compressed natural gas. Now is the time to ask a few questions from you. Hope you will be able to answer them correctly. So here is your first question. Which gas out of the following options is used as a domestic fuel? Children, here are the options. CNG, nitrogen, LPG. I am again repeating the question. Which out of the following is used as a domestic fuel? CNG, 
nitrogen or LPG? And your correct answer is LPG. The second question is that you have to fill in the blank. Fossil fuels are dash resources. Fossil fuels are dash resources. And your options are exhaustible or inexhaustible. The correct answer is exhaustible. Yes, children, the fossil fuels are exhaustible resources. Next question. On burning coal in air, it produces dash gas. On burning coal in air, it produces dash gas. The correct answer is carbon dioxide gas. The next question. What is the full form of CNG? I am again repeating the question. What is the full form of CNG? Yes, the correct answer is compressed natural gas. The next question. Name some useful products obtained from coal. Name some useful products obtained from coal. Some of the useful products obtained from coal are coke, coal tar, and coal gas. And your last question is, name the various constituents of petroleum. And the correct answer for this question is that the various constituents of petroleum are LPG, petrol, kerosene, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, and bitumen. With this, we come to the end of a lesson, coal and petroleum. Hope children, you must have enjoyed learning this lesson with me. But for a better understanding of this lesson, just read this lesson once from your textbooks and try to answer all the questions from your exercise. We will meet again with the next lesson. Till then, take good care of yourself. Goodbye and thank you.